Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be looking at <clears throat> how to update a sprite with keyboard input from Pygame. So, all right, last time we left off, let me make sure that's, all right, we had some blocks, we've slowly been adding them. That's why this is so important that you are hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if this type of video you like, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. So, all right. So, we've slowly been adding things. So, now we got some random blocks. We have the timing of how they come up. We have them get destroyed at the bottom. So, now we're going to go back and we're going to add our little good block down here at the bottom. And we're going to be able to move it from side to side only using the update because the last time we had it kind of generate our little Python basics uh, gif and just kind of running around here so now we're gonna make it kind of stationary and only go across on the X so let's just go ahead and get to that so the last time we had to have a move variable and then we had to increment it through the loop but now that we have this awesome new method with the update we know how to do this so we're gonna through kind of playing around I know that so now we're gonna uncomment yet yeah, yes I know this is not best practice we're worried about getting this motion down so all right 743 on the um, uh, y y coordinate so let's just get it going so here we are. So right now, it's not doing anything. It'll move when I, uh, uh, so it'll move when I click it. But that's not what we want. We want to take keyboard input. So all right, let's, let's go and get started. So all right, and to remind you, this is, I know this is weird. So caps lock on, key, down and let's get rid of this and we're only going to be changing the Y there we go let me get screwed rid of that it's lowercase Excuse me, we're only changing the X. We're going side to side. Okay, copy, paste. Now, so we're going to be changing. So if we go equals, we got one thing. So if event key equals pi game dot k left all right go to the end it's going to be we're going to increment this minus five and then if event equals pi game k right we are going to increment so decrement increment so let's run this see how I did let's see if I got these right let's get this here so you can see it Bring this up a little bit more. There we go, so you can see the boundary. There we go. All right, so, uh, so now you're getting the idea of it. So now, now we are actually at the beginnings of having something functioning. But the problem is we have no collision so that's what we're going to be working on next time so this is how close we are 
and we can kind of take a vote do we want this to shoot we can take an image but that is that so now we have using the update method and keyboard input much simpler than having to create a new variable then move then loop through this is why this is so powerful so as always guys please drop any comments questions or any video requests below and i'll get right to them and it's and please please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if this is something that you're interested in and um as always guys thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys